Now uh, let us see the Strassen's matrix multiplication. So Strassen proposed a matrix multiplication algorithm that can solve uh, the matrix multiplication with a complexity of, of big O of n raised to 2.81. Okay. So uh, in Strassen's matrix multiplication, there will be only seven multiplication and eight additions will be there. In the divide and conquer multiplication that we have seen in the previous section have uh, eight multiplications and uh, four additions okay so strassen reduced it into seven multiplications and uh, eight addition and uh, so the complexity will be seven into t of n by two plus a n square or c n square whatever it is and if you solve this recurrence equation class you will get a complexity s because of n raised to 2.81 okay just to go through these uh, steps okay i am not uh, dis discussing it okay so Strassen proposed a way of computing C11, okay, C12 and all the elements in the CRA, C matrix like this. C11 will be the sum of P plus S minus T plus V. So what is this P? Strassen proposed the equation. How to compute this P is that uh, P will be the sum of A11 and A22 and then multiply it with B11 and B22, okay. Then this S will be A22 into B21 minus B11 and uh, T will be A11 plus A12 into B22 and V will be A12 minus A22 into B21 plus B22. Okay, like that he is using seven variables, okay. And using these seven variables, uh, he is computing the value of the four elements in the matrix C11, C12 and C21 and C22. Okay. let us see it with an example uh, before that how this formula derived is there any shortest way to remember or is there any logic I don't know only Strassens know this okay so let us see an example so here I am just to do a multiplying two two by two matrices okay with the Strassens algorithm you can multiply four by four also no issue Maybe you uh, do divide and conquer, then you multiply with the uh, Strassen's matrix multiplication. That will be better if you are having a 4 by 4 matrix. Okay. So here, uh, let us compute to P. So P will be A11 plus A22. So A11, this is a matrix A and this one is matrix B. So A11 plus A22. So P will be 2 into B11 plus B22. A11 is 1 and A22 is 1, so 2 into B11, what is B11? B11 is 2 and B22 is 1, so 2 plus 1 is 3, so P will be 6, okay. And uh, Q is equal to A21, A21 is 3 plus A22 is 1. Okay, this one into B11, B11 is 2, so 4 into 2, it will be 8, okay. And then R is equal to uh, A11, A11 is 1, okay, and uh, B12, B12 is, B12 is 3, okay, minus B22, B22 is 1, okay, 3 minus 1 is 2 1 into 2 is 2 okay and then uh, s is computed as s is equal to a22 a22 is 1 here into b21 b21 is 1 here minus b11 b11 is sorry b11 is 2 so 1 minus 2 minus 1 into 1 it will be minus 1 okay and uh, T will be computed as, uh, you may be thinking like uh, why it is too complex to compute, you can directly write the answer if you don't follow this equation that is 1 into 2 plus 2 into 1, it is 1, C11 is computed, okay, but why we are following all these equations, for us uh, this will be very difficult to, to solve, but if you consider a computer, uh, if you follow this method, the computer has to take order of n cube time 
but if you follow this uh, complex method the computer will take only order of n raised to 2.8 times okay so this one is faster compared to computer but uh, for us this one is taking more time than our usual multiplication okay so uh, rest of the thing multiplication you do it as a homework or you do it yourself i hope you understood how this one is working okay bye